Iman ni biroshe munya biroshe munya. God have drawn it in the sea. Ya magare babo naga. All those four horses they have seen. Wa mufutu kwa farao. That speed that farao has. Ngo bonge yego chewo kinyuma. They turned. Ngo babo na munya zinumbi ziri kurele. And they saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians. Le kananga rizubu zima bwa yangu bugi rengo haribi nuzi yekuwa na biri kurele. Mbano kwa wana gabizi haribi sushi. Ari kima niji yekubi ni gabi rere mbari nuzi. I would like I would like to tell you that who. Le kamvuka kuzi. Now let me tell you that you're about to close. Hallelujah. It's possible that the techniques of doctors are limited. And even the techniques for some other people are limited. Even the techniques of your family are limited. But the ways and techniques of Jesus and God is not limited. But those who were told that they are not going to live for Long the burden. Those who were told that you are not going to grow up, the techniques and the ways of God have made them grow. Many ways of God are still there. Now, I want to tell you, do not be troubled in your heart because the ways of God are still there. Where God is taking you is way too better than where you come from. And the plan which is hidden in you is way too different from the plan. I've seen that God has other ways. Okay. So what God is about to do for you is going to stop you from being humiliated. What God is about to do for you is going to take you out of the shame that you are into. What God is going to do for you is going to make you way too powerful. Why? God has power. God has power in many other ways. Now let's have faith and say amen. Let's say that we are about to receive. That's the small thing that Moses has just said. Now let's go away and reach to the Red Sea. Bajeze kunyanja to kurababonye amagare ya farao ningabo za farao zihagurutse zibakurikiye Now when they were walking towards the Red Sea they saw Pharaoh's chariots and even his army following them Mu byukuri nta yandi mahirwe yo gukira yarahari Luckily speaking, obviously speaking, there was no... And then God told Moses. He said to him, I take you, I, I told you to stand up. I have thought about it. In your stick, there is a path. In your stick, there is a bridge. In your stick, there is a path. In your your way in the there is a lot of now stretch out your hands and then your Israel will power will flow. now Moses did know that he had a bridge in his heart now let me prophesy to you in your diploma there is a bridge which is going to flow. in your permit is your bridge your bridge it might be possible that your gift will be carpenter, you're cultivating, but let me tell you that might also be a bridge. Now stretch, stretch whatever you have in your hand. Use your knowledge. Use your knowledge to see that beyond your problems, they are your answers. Now let me tell you that you're about to close. Oh, yeah, you're about to close. The Red Sea that the Bible did not speak about, but the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. So I want to talk about it later. Now, when they had closed the Red Sea, they had sung within their hearts, and now they started to sing upon to God. Now, when God bless you, you don't need to repeat the songs that you have to sing. They create themselves 
out of you. Hallelujah. God does something which creates a song out of you. God, God does something which creates a song out of you. May God does something for you and make a song out of you. Hallelujah. Now after they have closed the fire, whom they call Miriam, he started to sing, a host and whoever he is it carries God have drawn it in the sea all those four horses they have seen that speed that follow her they turned and they saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians I would like to tell you that whoever had wished your death Let me greet you all who is following me either online here in Rwanda or outside of Rwanda Ariko kandi shimire abantu bose baba mu miji itandukanye yaba hano mu Rwanda no hanze bakunda kuduhamagara bakatuvugisha. But also thank people who are either in Rwanda or outside of the country who calls us and texts us on WhatsApp. Ni shuti zacu zigenda zidu zidukurikira umunsi ku munsi. There are our friends who likes to follow us day by day. Kuko mwagaragaje ko muhagararanye natwe mu byo dukora. Because you show that you are with us in whatever we do. For that, I would like to bless you. And thank you for non-stop players that you play for us. We feel that your players that you do, you pray for us, has an effect on us and that is spiritually helping us to glow. And it has also build a hope in me that we are going to reach so far. You keep on showing me that you have a good personality. And you also showed me that God still has a lot of hands to use. May the Lord Most High bless you and be blessed. Now before we enter into our words of today, I want us to first play. We are going to read the book of John chapter 14. We are going to read from verse 1 till verse 3. There are very good opportunities that we are going to get for people who follow us. Let's read. Let's read. Amen. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, they may be also. Amen. 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 God, I thank you for your good word. Whoever will hear to us, may he be saved. A huge reveal will be in his life. And he might receive a more than blessing that I'm blessed for. Because he did good to follow us. And may more opportunities and lucky be in his life. Amen. Amen. As I've told you, 
ndagira ngo mbifurize umugisha urenzo navuga I want to bless you I want you to have a blessing more than I would say aya na magambo ni kiganiro Yesu yagiranye nabigishwa be mbere yuko asubira mu bwami bw'Imana So the, the verses that we just read is a discussion that God, Jesus had with these disciples before he went back to heaven Bakoranye ikiganiro ibiganiro byishye ariko iki kiganiro cyo mu gice cya 14 Yesu yagiranye nabigishwa be cyasaga naho gikomeye kuko wari umwanzuro wa nyuma agira ngo agende So Jesus had a lot of discussions with his disciples but this this verse we just read in chapter 14 it's a very huge discussion he had and made the decision before he went to have Iki gice cya 14 na 15 na 16 cyasaga ni kimwe amagambo asa numurage asigiye cyangwa se namabwiriza asigiye abigishwa So the verse of John chapter 15 14 and 16 it's like an inheritance that Jesus left for his disciples ziko igihe tuzageramo ari igihe abantu bazarwara indwara yo guhangayika mu rwego rukomeye he knew that there is a time that it will come that people will have a lot of anxiety in them as a sickness ni gihe umukire cyangwa umukene bose bazaba bafite guhangayika muri bo it's a time where either a poor or a rich man would have trouble in him kubera ko bazaba babona ibihe bizaba byabaye bibi bizakereya iyo miliye ubwo buryo bwo guhangayika byanze bikunze because he saw that there is a time which is going to come and it will be bad and is going to create a situation which people are going to suffer from Yes abwira bigishwa arabwira ngo mwebweho ndagira ngo mabwire ngo ntimuzahagarika imitima mwizera Imana nange munyiza And then Jesus told his disciples do not be troubled in your heart instead believe in God Kuko ni gihe muzabona uburyo bwarangiye ubundi buzabo giye gutangira Because when you see that things are done or things are po impossible then that's when things are going to be possible Yarabwiye ngo ngiye kubategurira ahantu hanyu He said to them I'm going to prepare your own place in heaven Ngiye kubategurira ho muzaba I'm going to prepare a place where you're going to live Ngiye kubategurira ahantu muzagira uburenganzira I'm going to prepare a place where you have freedom Ngiye kubategurira ahantu muzaba mufite ubwisanzure I'm going to prepare a place where you be free Arabwira ngo ibyiza kandi nuko ngenda And then he was like a good thing to do if for me to leave you Ariko mbere yuko ngenda ndagira ngo mbabwire But before I leave I want to tell you something Mwizere Imana nange munyizere ni Yesu wivugaga Believe in God but also believe in me he was speaking about himself. He was like telling them there are many ways that we still have to save people. That one that you saw and that, that one that you did not see. Because I am going to prepare your own place. Jesus did not go in his in the picnic. Jesus did not go in heaven to just sit and rest like he's in a vacation. Yes, Jesus is working. He's speaking for us. He's speaking for you. He's trying to express to God. He's speaking your solos in the earth. He's speaking about your words. He's speaking about the journey he made to save you. He knows that he left you in a world full of sorrows and problems. He knows that he left you in a world where people are troubled. But listen to what God is doing. A good singer sang like in heaven I have a person who speaks for it. But what pleases me is more is that he's a savior more than Aranavugo ever. Muri mjigo, kuzina, riyanjori, we, and then also a singer sang that I know and that testified that my name is on his heart and that he's speaking for me. He's thinking yes, me. Jesus is speaking for you. Arimara kufujira. Jesus is speaking for you. That's why you are not dead. That's why all your times that you went through did not take you away. Yimana, ya That's why the hands of God took you from place to another. There is a speaker who is speaking for you. There is things that Jesus is speaking oh, about. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Accept that Jesus is working for you. That's why while you were in trouble, God took you away from that. There is, there is no other technique, but Jesus was there to speak for you. Jesus told his disciples, do not be troubled. Because wherever I am, you're supposed to be there. Because Jesus is not just sitting, but he's working. You might think that God is not working. But God does a miracle when he's keeping another one. You might so you might have seen him doing making a wedding possible. And you think that that's only what he can do. Another one might have seen him giving him a job and think that's possible that's enough. Uh, and another one might have seen him giving him a child and you think that's what he can only do. God has a lot of techniques that he used when he's working. It might be possible that the techniques that doctors use, they told you that's what we can do. It's possible that the techniques of doctors are limited. And even the techniques for some other people People are Even the techniques of your family is really But the ways and techniques of Jesus and God is not remitted. But those who were told that they are not going to live for long, the burden. Those who were told that you are not going to grow up, the techniques and the ways of God have made them grow. Many ways of God are still there. I want to tell you, do not be troubled in your heart because the ways of God are still there. Where God is taking you is way too better than where you come from. And the plan which is hidden in you is way too different from the plan that you are thinking about. Now, the life you are living is way too and the difficulties you're passing through is the ways of God to take you to your blessing. I want to tell you that God is doing a work within you. God is doing a work within you. And when he's working in you, he wants to make something better out of you. I want to tell you that the weak, weak people are the powerful ones of tomorrow. And the weapons of tomorrow are hidden in unknown people of today. Uh, those are the words that I'm going to be using mostly. Because many people have found themselves in a place where they did not think they would be. And there is a, a lot of power capacity that they had then they never now I want the ways of God to reveal another part of you that people do not know. And may God bring the capacity out of you that I cannot speak about. You are going to be good. You are going to be good. Now Jesus told his disciples. And he told them, I'm going to go in heaven. I'm going to be your speaker. And then he told them, the way I'm going to take, you know about it. I've told you to, through the discussions we had. And one of his disciples called Thomas, he told him, I don't understand what you're talking about. We don't know the path. 
And then Jesus answered him, I'm the true way and the life. Ingora ne uzajira mubuzima no kutamenye inzira ya mahirwe yawe. Now the only problem that you are going to face is for you to not understand that I'm the way to your opportunity. Wabanye ninzira ariko nti wamenya kuri mwa mahirwe yawe. You've lived with a path but you never knew that it has your opportunities. Wagenda nyo ninzira ariko nti wamenya ko irimo mahirwe yawe. You've went through a path but you never knew that your opportunities are there. Iyo shuti mugenda na ninzira yawe ya mahirwe yawe. The friend of yours is the path of your those people that you got to know, they were opportunities. Those, those that you despised were opportunities. And now today you are claiming, how, why am I not reaching to my opportunities yet? You never knew you were with them. Now Jesus told his disciples, I'm the true person. I'm the way where everything you need is going to pass through me. Speak to me, amen. There are powerful things that God is going to do in your life. And you don't think But do not think that that will be enough because there are many other ways of God working. God is still working. God is still working. Friend, people, God is still working more than I'm telling you today. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I want you to go more than where I want to speak about. Now, if you want to feel God working, accept also that there are many other ways that God has for you. Now, let me speak about about some people as I'm closing because there are many ways that we are going to talk about. And I want you to speak few words for for you to be able to hear it because I know many of you are busy. Brothers, you remember the other brothers we had from Israel? They knew God in one way. Even Moses himself knew God in one way. But there is another part of God that he did not know. And guess what? What God did not reveal to Moses was way powerful more than the part he showed him. Uh, Moses knew God as a God who would put fire in a hole. And he knew God as a girl who would turn a stick into a snake. And he knew God as a God who turned a, um, a hand into tap places. But he didn't know God as a God who would, who would dry a seat. And he wouldn't even know that he was a God who would pull water out of a lock. Now I want to tell you what you know about God is way too small than a thing. That another part that you do. The day that Moses went in the presence of Pharaoh, that's when Moses started to fear God in a special way. And then when Moses was in the presence of fellow, Jigad told him, lay down your stick. When he see that he turns into a snake, he's going to be afraid. But that technique was used in Egypt. It was normal to find a, a, a stick turning into a snake. And when they were there, Moses told Pharaoh, you better let the people of God and move out of Egypt. And 
And then Moses wanted to terrorize him and take out a stick. And then he told Pharaoh, you should let people of God go out of Egypt as a way of sign. Look at this stick, it's going to turn into a snake. And then when Pharaoh saw it, he laughed. You think this is power? He called all his people. And then they turned their stick also into snakes. If I had the chance to talk to Moses, I would have asked him, what did you think by then? But as a human, I would also think that Moses felt humiliated. But guess what? There is a secret that God has kept. And he did it without talking, without asking Moses his contract. There are things that Jesus, God is about to do without having your contract. There is things that God is going to do without asking your advice. Now trust with me and receive that from God. Let's have faith together and believe that God is going to do that. And then Moses so his snake stood it up and turned and then he started to solo all the snakes those people did and then he ate them after Moses saw it and he said for all my life I've seen that God has other ways okay so what God is about to do for you is going to stop you from being humiliated what God is about to do for you is going to take you out of the shame that you what God is going to do for you is going to make you way too powerful. Why? God has power. God has power in many other ways. Now let's have faith and say amen. Let's say that we are about to receive. That's the small thing that Moses has just said. Now let's go away and lead to the Red Sea. Now when they were walking towards the Red Sea, they saw fellows Charles and even his army following them. Luckily speaking, obviously speaking, there was no other ways of surviving. They have already accepted the death in their life. And they were like, this is our final destination. Pharaoh is going to kill us. But let me tell you, even Moses also saw that in that way. And then as a leader, Moses had to not show his his uh, discouragement. Instead, he had to also feel like, okay. Now, I want to prophesy for your life that wherever you see, do not have a way. God is going to make a pass through the problems. Where you think that things are impossible, that's where God is going to make them possible. Where you think that this is my death, God is going to make a life out of it. I receive your life in the name of Jesus. Now I want to create life in your thoughts today. And when they got on the Red Sea, and they told Moses, people told Moses, did you bring us to our death? People started to cry. Others, others cried. Now that's when God was turning the red into a very huge thunder. 
niyo wabuzi koga biri ku rwego rukomeye utari kuroko kiyanya obvious that even though you were a very good swimmer you would not be able to cross that red sea mose nawe arahindukira takira imana then moses turned and prayed to god and prayed to god imana igiye kumusubiza wowe hari giye ubona ikibazo ariko imana itabona ikibazo imana igiye kumusubiza iramubwira ngo niki gitumye unakira and then what there is a time that god sees that ways there are many ways and then he ask you he ask moses why are you crying to me ahushatse wavuga ngo imana ibaza nk'ibyizi nka mwarimu and then you might even ask why does god ask questions like a teacher icyari gitumye bataka cyari gihari it was obvious they had a reason to cry unto him farao yari yazanye ibikoresho byica fellow had a lot of guns to kill them babonaga urupfu rwari ruhari kandi they were looking at that there he was there obviously ariko imana iramusubiza ngo bwira ubwoko bwanje bakomeze bagende kuko inzirira hari and then god to told moses tell my people to keep on working because there is a path ariko amaso y'umubiri ya mose nawe yarebe imbere akabona nta hantu ho kunyura hahari but the physical eyes of moses would look and see there is no way ibyo imana ibigiye mose ntabwo ari byagiye ngo abwire abaturage now what god told to moses is not what what moses told to his people yagerageze ku transform a message he tried to make it sound a little bit hopeful ngo wende sone neza mu baturage so that he will make hope in them kuko ni wari kwabwira ngo nibakomeze bagende utabereka amato he would not tell them to keep on walking through the sea without without boats nekereza ko bari kwivumbura birenze uko bivumbuye i think they could have worked away from him ahubwo mose we yarababwiye ngo but moses told to them ni mwihagararire gusa Stood, stand up stop working murebe agakiza uwiteka ari bubazane and look at the salvation that god is bringing to you hallelujah abara abakuru muri bo and the elders among the people batangira kuvuga ati ah nibyo birashoboka ko imana iri budukize mu buryo tugiye gupfa nyine and they were like maybe god is going to give us an easy death kuko hari amagambo mose yakoraje yavuze ngo murebe agakiza imana iri bubazane ngo kandi abanyegiputa mwabonye none nimuzongera kwabona ukundi because moses use the words like stand and look at the salvation that God is giving to you and the Egyptian that you saw today you never gonna see them again abara abakuru baravuga ati nubundi nituzongera kwabona ukundi nitumara gupfa nyine nituzongera kubona abanyegiputuka and then the Egypt the elders among the Israelites translated and say of course we are going to die how are we even going to see that ariko si kimana yari ivuze but that's not what God has said imana ihindurikirira Mose and then God told Moses iramubwira ngo nagwahagura kije nabitekerejeho He said to him I take you I stood I told you to stand up Naguhagurukije nabigizeho neza I have thought about it Mu nkoni yawe In your stick Hari mikiraro There is a path Mu nkoni yawe In your stick Hari minzira There is a bridge Mu nkoni yawe In your stick Hari mo kwambuka There is a path Mu nkoni yawe In your way Byose bihishemo There is a lot of Rambura nkoni yawe Now stretch out your hands Abisirayeli bambuke And then your Israel will pass Mose ni yarazi ko afite ikiraro mu ntoki. Now Moses did not that he had a bridge in his heart. Reka nguhanurire. Now let me prophesy to you. Muri diploma yawe. In your diploma. Niho hari mikiraro kizakujyana. There is a bridge which is going to be. Muri perime yawe. In your permit. Ni cyo kiraro cyawe. Is your bridge. Oya birashoboka yuko impano yawe ko abari ukubaza ko abari ubufundi wabari ubuyede ko ari ugusudira ibyo ngibyo byose ni kiraro cyawe. It might be possible that your gift will be capenta you're cultivating but let me tell you that might also be a bridge rambura rambura ico kintu cyawe now stretch, stretch whatever you have in your hand you know you know use your kugeze ku nyanja yibazo urebe kure hirya ya use your rage to see that beyond your problems they are your answers reka mvuga kugiye kwambuka now let me tell you that you're about to close topile zi ugiye kwambuka yeah you're about to close ugiye kwambuka you are about to close ngo mosa rambura ingoniye then moses stretched his stick agiye kubona bone nyanja and then he saw that the, the sea was dry ahita tangira kuvuga ati imana yakigira uburyo bwinshi and he was he started to sing that god has a lot of power now do not stop your heart imana yawe iracyafite uburyo mu friend god still has many ways people bakiraho rero so when they were still that barambuka they crossed the path nzavuga tutu twagati mu nyanja ubutaha i really want to speak about how the journey was hagati yo kwambuka hari sene yabereye mu bibiri hari itavuga hari ni 
n'ibindi vuga ariko hari ibintu byaberewemo nayishurwe n'umwuka nzayibabwira Now there is a scene which happened in between the Red Sea that the Bible did not speak about but the Holy Spirit revealed it to me so I want to talk about it later Ba bageze hakurya indirimbo zari zimaze imyaka myinshi zongeye kuvumbuka mu mitima ya Now when they had closed the Red Sea they had song within their hearts and now they started to sing upon to God Imana ni gukorera ikintu ntibiri bugombere repetisiyo now when God bless you you don't need to repeat the songs that you have to sing they create themselves out of you Hallelujah. God does something which creates a song out of you God does something which creates a song out of you may God does something for you and make a song out of you Hallelujah. now after they have closed the path, Miriam. whom they call Miriam he started to sing a horse and whoever he is it carries God have drawn it in the sea all those for horses they have seen that speed that follow her they turned and they saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians they would like I would like to tell you that whoever had wished your death let me greet you all who is following me either online here in Rwanda or outside of Rwanda. And but also thank people who are either in Rwanda or outside of the country who calls us and texts us on WhatsApp. There are our friends who likes to follow us day by day. Because you show that you are with us in whatever we do. For that I would like to bless you. And thank you for non-stop players that you play for us. We feel that your players that you do you pray for us has an effect on us and that is spiritually helping us to glow and it has also built a hope in me that we are going to reach so far you keep on showing me that you have a good personality and you also showed me that God still has a lot of hands to use May the Lord Most High bless you and be blessed. Now before we enter into our words of today I want us to first play We are going to lead the book of John chapter 14 we are going to lead from verse 1 till verse 3. There are very good opportunities that we are going to get for people who follow us. Let's read. Let's read. Amen. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, they may be also. Amen. 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 
Mana ndagushimiye kubwe ijambo ryawe. God I thank you for your good word. Umuntu wese ugiye kutwumva yakire kubohoka gukomeye. Whoever will hear to us may he be saved. Ihishurirwa ikomeye ribe mu buzima bwe. A huge reveal will be in his life. Kandi yakire umugisha urenzongewe nde gusaba. And he might receive a more than blessing that I'm requesting. Because he did good to follow us. Kandi amahirwe abe menshi mu buzima bwe. And may more opportunities and lucky be in his life. Amen. Amen. Uh, as I've told you, I want to bless you. I want you to have a blessing more than I would say. Aya na magambo ni chiganiro Yesu yajira njia na vijish kwa mbere yuko asubira mabugami bugema. So the the verses that we just read is a discussion that God, Jesus had with these disciples before he went back to heaven. Iba kora njia ichiganiro ibiganiro vijish ari kuchichiganiro chomo jicho cha chumi na kana Yesu yajira njia na vijish kwa we cha saga na hodi kome yako kwa rumanzuro wa nyuma ajira nguajendo. So Jesus had a lot of discussions with his disciples, but this this verse we just read in chapter. 14, it's a very huge discussion he had and made the decision before he went to heaven. So the verse of John chapter 15, 14 and 16, it's like an inheritance that Jesus left for his disciples. So he knew that there is a time that it will come that people will have a lot of anxiety in them as a sickness. It's a time where either a poor or a rich man would have trouble in him. Because he saw that there is a time which is going to come and it will be bad and it's going to create a situation which people are going to suffer from. Yes, I And then Jesus told his disciples, do not be troubled in your heart. Instead, believe in God. Because when you see that things are done or things are po impossible, then that's when things are going to be possible. He said to them, I'm going to prepare your own place in heaven. I'm going to prepare a place where you're going to live. I'm going to prepare a place where you have freedom. I'm going to prepare a place where you'll be free. And then he was like, a good thing to do is for me to leave you. But before I leave, I want to tell you something. Believe in God, but also believe in me. He was speaking about himself. He was like telling them there are many ways that we still have to save people. That one that you saw and that, that one that you did not see. Because I am going to prepare your own place. Jesus did not go in his in the picnic. Jesus did not go in heaven to just sit and rest like he's in a vacation. Jesus is working. He's speaking for us. He's speaking for you. He's trying to express for God. He's speaking your solos in the earth. He's speaking about your words. He's speaking about the journey he made to save you. He knows that he left you in a world full of sorrows and problems. He's, he knows that he left you in a world where people are troubled. But listen to what God is doing. A good singer sang that in heaven I have a person who speaks for it. But what pleases me is more that he's a savior more than and then also a singer sang 
that I know and that testify that my name is on his heart and that he's speaking for me. He's thinking yes, so. Jesus is speaking for you. Jesus is speaking for you. That's why you are not dead. That's why all your times that you went through did not take you away. That's why the hands of God took you from place to another. There is a speaker who's speaking for you. There is things that Jesus is speaking oh, about. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Accept that Jesus is working for Nicho you. That made you win over the judgments that you were passing through. That's why while you were in trouble, God took you away from that. There is, there is no other technique but Jesus was there to speak for you. Jesus told his disciples, do not be troubled. Because wherever I am, you're supposed to be there. Because Jesus is not just sitting, but he's working. You might think that God is not working. But God does a miracle when he's keeping another one. You might so you might have seen him doing making a wedding possible. And you think that that's only what he can do. Another one might have seen him giving him a job and think that's possible that's enough. And another one might have seen him giving him a child and you think that's what he can only do. God has a lot of techniques that he used when he's working. It might be possible that the techniques that doctors use, they told you that's what we can do. It's possible that the techniques of doctors are limited. And even the techniques for some other people even the techniques of your family but the ways and techniques of Jesus and God is not remitted but those who were told that they are not going to live for long those who were told that you are not going to grow up the techniques and the ways of God have made them grow many ways of God are still there. I want to tell you, do not be troubled in your heart because the ways of God are still there. Where God is taking you is way too better than where you can be And the plan which is hiding in you is way too different from the plan that you are thinking about. Now, the life you are living and the difficulties you're passing through is the ways of God to take you to your blessing. I want to tell you that God is doing a work within you. God is doing a work within you. And when he's working in you, he wants to make something better out of you. I want to tell you that the weak, weak people are the powerful ones of tomorrow. And the weapons of tomorrow are hidden in unknown people of today. Uh, those are the words that I'm going to be using mostly. Because many people have found themselves in a place where they did not think they would be. And there is a, a lot of power capacity that they had then they never now I want the ways of God to reveal another part of you that people do not know. And may God bring the capacity out of you that I cannot speak about. You are going to be good. You are going to be good. Now Jesus told his disciples. 
and he told them i'm going to go in heaven i'm going to be your speaker atariko inzira kandi nzagendamo murayizi narayibabwiye mu biganiro twagiye tugirana bya buri munsi and then he told them the way i'm going to take you know about it i've told you to through the discussions we had ariko umwe mu umwe witwaga tom and one of his disciples called thomas aramubwira ati he told him ibyo uvuze ntabwo age mbyumvise I don't understand what you're talking about. Atinzira ntabwo twayimenye. We don't know the path. Yesu aramubwira ngo ni nge nzira yukuri nubugingo. And then Jesus answered him I'm the true way and the life. Ingorane uzagira mu buzima no kutamenya inzira y'amahirwe yawe. Now the only problem that you are going to face is for you to not understand that I'm the way to your opportunity. Wabanye n'inzira ariko nti wamenya kuri mu amahirwe yawe. You've lived with a path but you never knew that it has your opportunities. Wagendanye n'inzira ariko nti wamenya ko irimo amahirwe yawe. You've went through a path but you never knew that your opportunities are there. Iyo shuti mugendana n'inzira yawe y'amahirwe yawe. The friend of yours is the path of your opportunity. Barya abantu mwamenyanye yari inzira y'amahirwe yawe Those people that you got to know they were opportunities Barya wirengagije yari inzira y'amahirwe yawe Those that you despised were opportunities Iyo munsi uracyari muri confusion yo kwibaza ngo niki gituma nagera ku mahirwe ariko nuko wayobewe inzira y'amahirwe And now today you are claiming how why am I not reaching to my opportunities yet you never knew you were with them Yes abwira bigishwa barabwira ngo ninge nzira Now Jesus told his disciples I'm the true path I'm the way where everything you need is going to pass through me. Speak to me, Amen. There are powerful things that God is going to do in your life. Ariko nuzigera utekereza yuko ubuzima cyangwa se uburyo bwarangiye bw'Imana kuri wewe. But do not think that that will be enough because there are many other ways of God working. Imana iracyakora. God is still working. God is still working. Friend, people, God is still working more than I'm telling you today. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I want you to go more than where I want to speak about. Now, if you want to feel God working, accept also that there are many other ways that God has for you. Now, let me speak about about some people as I'm closing because there are many ways that we are going to talk about kandi mbashaka kuvuga inyigisho ngufi kugira ngo muze kwitangira mu irangize ndabizi ko benshi muba muri muri gahunda zakazi niyo mpamvu shaka kujya nyigira ngufi habwo tukagira ma part menshi now i would like to speak few words for uh, for you to be able to hear it because i know many of you are busy benedict bamwe babisiraeli brothers you remember the other brothers we had from israel bari bazimana mu buryo they knew God in one way. Even Moses himself knew God in one way. But there is another part of God. And guess what? What God did not reveal to Moses was way powerful more than the part he showed him. Uh, Moses knew God as a God who would put fire in a hole. And he knew God as a God who would turn a stick into a snake. And he knew God as a God who turned a, a, a hand into tear places. But he didn't know God as a God who would, who would dry a sea. And he wouldn't even know that he was a God who put water out of a lock. Now I want to tell you what you know about God is way too small than a thing. That another part that you do. The day that Moses went in the presence of Pharaoh, that's when Moses started to fear God in a special way.
And then when Moses was in the presence of Pharaoh, Jigad told him, lay down your stick. When he sees that he turns into a snake, he's going to be afraid. But that technique was used in Egypt. It was normal to find a, a, a stick turning into a snake. And when they were there, Moses told Pharaoh, you better let the people of God and move out of Egypt. And then Moses wanted to terrorize him and take out a stick. And then he told Pharaoh, you should let people of God go out of Egypt as a way of sign. Look at this stick, it's going to turn into a snake. And then when Pharaoh saw it, he laughed. You think this is power? He called all his people. And then they turned their stick also into snakes. If I had the chance to talk to Moses, I would have asked him, what did you think by then? But as a human, I also think that Moses felt humiliated. But guess what? There is a secret that God has kept. And he did it without talking, without asking Moses his contract. There are things that Jesus, God is about to do without having your contract. There is things that God is going to do without asking your advice. Now trust with me and receive that from God. Let's have faith together and believe that God is going to do that. And then Moses saw his snake stood it up and turn and then he started to solo all the snakes those people did and then he ate them after Moses saw it, and he said, For all my life, I've seen that God has other ways. Okay, so what God is about to do for you is going to stop you from being humiliated. What God is about to do for you is going to take you out of the shame that you were in. What God is going to do for you is going to make you way too powerful. Why? God has power. God has power in many other ways. Now let's have faith and say amen. Let's say that we are about to receive. That's the small thing that Moses has just said. Now let's go away and reach to the Red Sea. Now when they were walking towards the Red Sea, they saw fellows Charles and even his army following them. Luckily speaking, obviously speaking, there was no other ways of surviving. They have already accepted the death in their life. And they were like, this is our final destination. Pharaoh is going to kill us. But let me tell you, even Moses also saw that in that way. And then as a leader, Moses had to not show his his uh, discouragement. Instead, he had to also feel like, okay. Now, I want to prophesy for your life that wherever you see, do not have a way. God is going to make a pass through the problems. Where you think that things are impossible, that's where God is going to make them possible. Where you think that this is my death, God is going to make a life 
out of it. Receive your life in the name of Jesus. Now I want to create life in your thoughts today. And when they got on the Red Sea, and they told Moses, people told Moses, did you bring us to our death? People started to cry. Others, others cried. Now that's when God was turning the red into a very huge thunder. It obvious that even though you were a very good swimmer, you would not be able to cross that Red Sea. Then Moses turned and prayed to God and prayed to God. And then there is a time that God sees there are ways, there are many ways. And then he asks you, he asks Moses, why are you crying to me? And then you might even ask, why does God ask questions like a teacher? It was obvious they had a reason to cry unto him. Fellow had a lot of guns to kill them. They were looking at that death. He was there, obviously. And then God too told Moses, tell my people to keep on working because there is a path. But the physical eyes of Moses would look and see there is no way. Now what God told to Moses is not what, what Moses told to his people. He tried to make it sound a little bit hopeful. So that he would make hope in them. He would not tell them to keep on walking through the sea without, without boats. I think they could have worked away from him. But Moses told to them, Stood, stand up, stop working. And look at the salvation that God is bringing to you. Hallelujah. And the elders among the people. And they were like, maybe God is going to give us an easy death. Because the Moses use the words like stand and look at the salvation that God is giving to you and the Egyptian that you saw today you're never going to see them again and then the, Egypt, the elders among the Israels translated and say of course we are going to die how are we even going to see Egyptians but that's not what God has said and then God told Moses he said to him, I take you, I, stood, I told you to stand up and think about it. I had thought about it. In your stick, there is a path. In your stick, there is a bridge. In your stick, there is a path. In your way, in your street, there is a lot of things. Now stretch out your hands and then your Israel will pass. Now Moses did know that he had a bridge in his hand. Now let me prophesy to you. In your diploma, there is a bridge that is going to be In your permit, there is your bridge. Now it is possible that you have a bridge that is going to be used. It might be possible that your gift will be carpenter, you're cultivating. But let me tell you, that might also be a bridge. Now stretch, stretch whatever you have in your hand. Use your 
courage to see that beyond your problems they are your answers. Now let me tell you that you are about to close. Oh, hallelujah, you are about to close. You are about to close. Then Moses stretched his stick. And then he saw that the, the sea was dry. And he, was, he started to sing that God has a lot of ways. Now do not stop your heart. God still has many ways, people. So when they were still there, they closed the path. I really want to speak about how the journey was. Between. Now there is a sin which happened in between the Red Sea that the Bible did not speak about, but the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. So I want to talk about it later. Now when they had closed the Red Sea, they had sung within their hearts and now they started to sing upon to God. Now when God bless you, you don't need to repeat the songs that you have to sing. They create themselves out of you. Hallelujah. God does something which creates a song out of you. God does something which creates a song out of you. May God does something for you and make a song out of you. Hallelujah. Now after they have closed the path, Miriam. whom they call Miriam, he started to sing, a host and whoever he is it carries, God have drawn it in the sea. All those four horses they have seen, that speed that follow her, they turned and they saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians. I would like to tell you that whoever had wished your death